Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to focus on entrepreneurship education at the university level. And usually as students, we always have problems developing our ideas and taking it to the position of a launch. I am Professor Inegbedion Juliet Owajaji. Now let us begin. As students of entrepreneurship education, and you are told to come up with a business plan or an idea, what do you do? Most times, most of us rush into getting a business plan, but business plan is not the first that should come in. The first thing you need to think about is the idea. So for you to develop your idea, what do you do? You need to scan around your environment. Don't be so hasty looking into what is already in existence without thinking about how to improve what is in existence. Some of us, we just want to remain as imitating entrepreneurs. Again, as university undergraduates, we must be able to differentiate learning vocational skills and skills that will take you into generating creative and innovative ideas. So in this regard, remember as a university undergraduate, you are the thinker to profile solutions to identify challenges. So what you need to do is to scan around your environment. You can look at the challenges you have, find out if there is already existing solution that could help provide solution to those challenges. In some cases, there might be no existing solution. Then in that case, you can think of what you need to do that will provide a solution to that particular challenge. In some cases, and if I may say, in most cases, there would have already been an existing solution. But what do you do is to examine that existing solution to find out if that solution will be able to profile the required solution that is needed. And if the solution is already in the market, now find out how the target audience for that particular challenge are reacting to the solution. Is it meeting the needs for the purpose for which it was created? Now, if not, what do you do? You identify the gap that is there. It is that gap that will not give you an idea of what you need to do. And in this regard, for you to be a successful entrepreneur, what do you need to do? You must be intrinsic in your thinking and not intrinsic. How do I mean? Think of the motivation that comes from within. You, but if it is intrinsic, the immediate thing that comes to your mind as a motivation is, what is my gain? What am I going to gain from it? And if we think that way, in most cases, we won't be able to actually provide solution that is required in tackling the identified challenge. So when you get that particular gap, you're able to identify the gap. Now, the gap is what we further gives you an insight on whether what you want to do is going to be an invention or is going to be disruptive. If there is no existing solution, you are the one coming up with a new solution to solve that problem. That comes under invention. But if there is an existing solution, it's just that the existing solution is observed not to be meeting the challenge that is being identified, then you come up with a disruptive market. In this regard, what do you do? 
So you have had your idea, pull that idea to one end. Now you have to extract if it's already an existing solution, who are those providing this solution? At what level is this solution being accepted? They are your competitors. And in this regard, your competitors are in two folds. You have the direct competitors and the indirect competitors. So for the direct competitors, those are the ones that are directly in the same thing you want to profile. Why the indirect competitors will be those that are bringing a complementary solution to what you want to do. Now you have to examine if you have the capacity to actually do what you said you want to do. In this case, you have to look at the knowledge. Do you have the knowledge? Do you have the technical know-how? Do you have team that could work with you? Have you identified people that could work with you if need be? And finally, the funding. You need all this before you can come up and say, yes, I am coming up with an idea. Most times, some of us rush into idea development. We just pick an idea. We saw it somewhere. You pick it and you work on it. As it's getting to market, that idea is dying. And again, we should be able to differentiate business skills from entrepreneurial skills. Yes, we need the business skills at the point of launch of your idea. Whereby you will not send that idea into the market. But at the beginning, you don't necessarily work first on the business skills, but the business skills are embedded. When you have been able to fine tune the idea, and you now want to bring in the costing, you want to bring in the deployment of that idea. In most cases, people rush into the marketing aspects, leaving out the main thing to be done. Now, at that process of your marketing strategy, that is where you now have to come up and say, okay, if I invent this, who are those that will be willing to use it, to pay for it, or to sponsor it? Because you need to have a buy-in before you can have a wide market for that. And remember, what you have produced definitely will be launched by the business men because you will need them along the chain you're going to use them for your deployment so in summary when you are thinking of your idea what to do the first is Look around for a challenge that you want to provide solution to. Two, find out if there is already an existing solution. If there is an existing solution, find out to what extent is that solution meeting the identified challenge. And what is the gap that needs to be filled? Again, you could find out, yes, there is no existing solution. Then what is it available around you that can help provide that solution? Whether there is an existing solution or not, what we need to consider is your ability in the area of knowledge, in the area of technology, technology know-how, in the area of funding, in the area of collaboration, because at some point you're going to collaborate in your idea. Then in the area of deployments, this should be first and foremost in your idea development. 
Again, you can equally visit some already existing researches where you are coming up with an idea. You read wide empirical studies that have been researched on to identify findings that require solution that could help solve the identified problem. Then you go to your table and start working. With this, you'll be able to come up with a great idea that you can develop and it will take you to a launch. Thank you.